In this video, we are going to learn about the MVVM, the Model View View Model Pattern. This is the new architecture, new model that we are going to implement into our application. Hello, my friends, and welcome to Master Coding Channel and the Complete Android Developer Course. I will continue with our uh, movie app, and we are going to implement this MVVM into our application as in a source and data source for our database. The most important principle to follow is the separation of concerns. It's mostly common mistake to write all your code in an activity or a fragment. These UI based classes should only contain logic that handles UI and operation system interaction. So we were making the uh, in previous uh, apps making all the codes in the main activity, all the logic, the business logic, the business uh, data, the if loops, uh, the, uh, the else, else statements, the database interactions, and everything for uh, inside the M, uh, activity or the fragment. Now, thanks for Google that have implemented this and created this uh, model and this uh, the design pattern in order to avoid many life cycle related problems. Keep in mind that you don't own implementations of activity and fragments, rather these are just glue classes that present the co contract between the Android OS and your application. So these are the uh, many things that we are going to use and see in this app and later on in the next applications. So Android architecture components are divided into three uh, and many, many uh, data, but we have um, but what we are concerned in the live data that build data objects and notify view when the underlying database changes. The view model stores UI related data and it is not really destroyed on app rotations. And the room database, it is an SQL uh, the object mapping library used to avoid uh, boilerplate code and easily convert SQL table data to Java objects. Now, why we are going to use the MVVM? The UI components are kept away from the business logic so you can do the business logic here in uh, in in, um, in the model the view model and despite the using uh, all the codes and writing all the codes in the main activity or an activity the business logic is kept away from the database operation so if you have a database it it is kept away from uh, it the operations and the queries that they are done by this it's easy to read because everything has specific place to live and it's if done correctly had you have a lot uh, less to worry about when it comes to life cycle events example the screen rotation let's go and see this image this is a very important diagram that represents the uh, and uh, you can understand the mvvm model how it works okay uh guys uh, take your uh, take your uh, papers the note uh, and take notes and write down then these notes that and uh, remember them uh, for later use in the next videos and next apps the ui contain the controller or the activity or the fragment which has the an observer is observing data from a view model so the view model having live data and keep feeding the observer or the activity for any changes. So the cycle start by from here, the activity observe the data from view model that contains live data. The live data or the view model get its own data from repository. And this repository has two main sections that or data sources that have uh, to receive uh, data from it. Even remote, da remote data source using web service, web service contact the API and then get the data like we are go uh, that we are using here because uh, we are going to uh, use the API for uh, the, the movie db.org 
website and getting the data back using the web service and getting the data from here using the retrofit too. Whenever the data is gathered, so when we are going to search for a movie, a Jack Reacher, for example, we have using retrofit and using the API. So the remote data source has been filled with a data called Jack Reacher. The movie Jack Reacher is done, is going to the repository, the live data here in the repository. And this repository go back, gives back the data for Jack Reacher to the view model, the live data, and the live data will update the UI, uh, the observer and the API activity fragment and display the movie for the user. So when we click on any button or we are going to use in this um, uh, app, we are going to display movies. So first of all, the activity starts, go to the live data, a view model, repository, get the data from API. Getting the data from API, go repository, I found the movie, uh, Jack Reacher or uh, the movies, the latest movies. Go to the view model and then the data to the activity fragment that will display the movie and its details. In this way, we are going to implement the MVVM with the retrofit and use it with our application. The second step and used for caching the data and uh, using for internal uh, storage and SQL and the uh, offline use, we are going to use the SQL light, which is uh, using the room database. As I told you, room database, um, an object here, as I told you, is an SQL object mapping library used to avoid the boilerplate code and easily convert SQL light table data to Java object. So, in this way, we have two sources, the database and the remote data source. The retrofit uh, web service, sorry, the web service, you can use uh, Volley, you can use uh, RKHTP or whatever you want. And we have a room database, which depends on the SQL uh, database. So, we have offline and online data. Uh, the repository rep uh, acts as a hub for the data getting from the two sources, the offline and the online. And we have the updating the live model and the live data. Live data will update the UI and the observer in the activity. In this way, we have understand the MVVM architecture. It's very simple, guys. You may, and uh, uh, on my, uh, on my uh, level, I have found many uh, problems and many uh, obstacles that we have uh, in understanding the MVVM. But it's very important to understand its architecture and I am displaying it and I am lecturing it in very, very simple and easy steps, step by step. And we are going to implement it in a complex application, in a very complex application, which is the movie application that we are going to create in this section. So keep us making new tutorials, make uh, us uh, motivated, well motivated to lecture for you and for uh, make tutorials for you and uh, for lovely people. Uh, just subscribe to our YouTube channel, rate us five stars on them. These documentations are available to download uh, by, you, by downloading master coding application from Play Store. MVVM stands for view model, view model, model view, view model. Model, it holds the data for the application. It cannot directly talk to the view. Generally, it's recommended to expose the data to the view model through ob uh, observables. We see here the view model, here the activity. In the, inside the activity, the model, it holds the data of the model application. It cannot directly talk to the view. The view, it represents the UI for application devoid uh, of any application logic. It observes the view model. So the model contains the data the view it represents the ui for the application and the view model it acts a bridge it acts as a link between the 
model and the view. It, res it is uh, responsible for transforming the data from the model. It provides data streams to the view and also uses hooks to callbacks to update the view. It will uh, ask for data from the model. We have two types to implement in MVVM. It's the implementing the data binding or the Rx job. In this tutorial, we are going to use data binding only. Now, let's go to, the, to our Android uh, Studio and add the dependency for MVVM. Add the dependency in the Gradle. I will copy this implementation and we'll go to the, our project that we have created. And I will go to the model here and implement here view model. If you want to get the dependencies, you can go to the uh, latest dependencies, the developer.android, and uh, here we have the dependencies. Uh, I will search for live data and view model. Live data, view model. Um, life cycle only you can without live data and model annotate processor alternative helpers these are optionals okay so for that i will need to copy here copy and going back life cycle i will copy them here i will paste it and make it clear okay okay in this way we have created it successfully i will copy it okay now let's understand uh, uh, as a summary for uh, our uh, mvvm model we have a view ui or xml in the activity or fragment, the UI event connected with the view model. The view model, it is intermediate Rx Java or live data containing uh, inside the view model. View model will act, uh, will connect with the repository. Repository will contact the local uh, data source or the remote data source, which is the data, the data from the web services or local database source, which is the SQLite and then send the response back to the repository and send response back. This is the model class here and get back to the observe model uh, changes callback. And then this will observe a response by updating the view in the activity. Okay, guys, in this video, we have learned about uh, and we, we have a new version of Android Life X valid 2.0 is available 2.00 okay let's update and uh, i hope uh, guys uh, you understand this uh, con this concept because we are going to implement it uh, in later videos thank you guys see you next videos